Mohammed, we do hear that argument a lot, which is the fact that we can't fix everything in the world doesn't mean we shouldn't try to fix something or what we can. Do you accept that? I, I, I think the, the West has responsibility to fix things, but uh, not everything. And I don't view democracy to be a gift of foreigners, gift of the West to the, mm. to the people in the, in the Middle East. I think uh, the, the 20th century has shown that the Middle Easterners uh, have had the capacity to fight for democracy and they, they, they really cherish it. And the authoritarian states for a variety of reasons have been able to control and suppress it. Now we have had a historical opportunity because of the convergence of forces that, that you have a series of democratic movements developing. I think here actually think before you act would have been a better thing to do. I, I agree that uh, in Libya there, there was a tendency to move toward, uh, there was a movement toward the civil war, but initially the success, great success that opposition had, it, it, it was impressive. It was actually at the time that the West wasn't looking and declaring support, and as soon as Washington, London, and other capitals in Europe began to utter their support. It was when Gaddafi was reinvigorated, and, and the guy who was at his last leg of legitimacy all of a sudden gained power. And his look, he even looks different now. Hmm. You know, partly because he, he feels much more uh, invigorated by this process. 